What is going on guys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. Just yesterday we had the Eredivisie squad foundations and today we've got the Liga Portugal. Honestly, I don't know which ones look better because when you actually look at the players, this Wilson Manafa looks like an absolutely exceptional right back. But then again, will he be much use for players like this American Cam Sonora, is that how you pronounce it? And then obviously you've got Nuno Santos. Will people be using him? Let me know what you guys think of this down below. If you guys are new to these objective guide series, all we do, we go over all new objectives EA release. I give you guys my tips, tricks with some in-game examples. And uh, if necessary, we will build you a squad builder as well without further ado boys let's get into it so first of all we've got assist 10 goals using forwards from Liga Portugal in squad battles to clarify Liga Portugal I know some people did get confused with this last FIFA when they officially changed the name Liga Portugal aka Liga Nos all right the Portuguese first division league okay so Liga Portugal they do not mean Portuguese players I do have to clarify that because last time some people were confused Liga Portugal is a Portuguese league and squad battles on at least semi-pro or rivals for the sake of today's video we will be giving the examples for uh for squad battles right you can do it in rivals I just do not recommend it because it will be quite tough in rivals score seven goals with finesse shots using players from Liga Portugal if you want a guide on how to do a finesse shot or how to perform a finesse shot in case you you're not too sure to score a finesse shot all you have to do is press down on the right bumper plus shoot so r1 plus circle if you are on playstation rb plus b if you are on xbox very self-explanatory obviously whilst pressing this you are going to want to aim in the direction you want to shoot the ball Play 20 matches in squad battles on at least semi-pro or division rivals with at least 7 players from Liga Portugal in your starting squad and win 8 matches by at least 2 goals in squad battles on semi-pro or division rivals with at least 7 players from Liga Portugal. Honestly, this doesn't look too difficult. If you want to complete the whole thing for Nuno Santos, 20 games is quite a bit, but for Manafa, it's only 8 games, and I don't actually think that's too bad. Let's at least get in to the squad builder. Right, so this is the team we have come up with. Now, you may be saying, Davis, you only need at least 7 players. Why have you got 11? Simply gone for 11 just to make it much more simple for not only myself, but for you guys. If you guys do want, you can obviously change up to 4 players. Now, although you want to get some assists because you need to assist with Liga Portugal players, you want to score goals, right? So I would probably, if you were to substitute some players, if you will, I would probably not worry about your midfield or attackers, and instead I would use maybe your four best center backs or defenders sorry um and, and that includes goalkeeper so for example you could just search your center backs in your club and you could start them if you want because once again you as long as you've got at least seven league of portugal players then you're good to go but just for the sake of the video we are going to go with a full 11. now i've gone for a 4-4-2 formation keeping it simple now there is a few position modifiers needed ricardo horta get a position modifier on him just because there's not much other good at league of portugal strikers same with rafa who is below my webcam originally a right wing but we can position modify him to a right mid we'll quickly run through the team we've got Gon gonzalo ramos at left striker with ricardo horta on the right galena at left mid with Uribe and Jao Mario as our two centre mids. Rafa on the right, who's probably one of the best players in this team. Grimaldo at left back along with Pepe and Lucas Verissimo. Honestly, the centre backs, the defence in general, looking solid. Alexander Barr has got 92 pace with not even going to try and pronounce that name in there. So this is a team, lads, that we have gone ahead and come up with. Now, reminder, as long as you've got at least seven players, you can go into the game. But, all right, and this is a big but... You need to assist goals with forwards from Liga Portugal. Your only two forwards in this team is Ricardo Horta and Gonzalo Ramos. So you are going to need to get assists with your two strikers. Your midfielders do not count as forwards. If you want, you can go to a 4-3-3, which would mean you would have three forwards. Then there's even a formation, right wing, striker, center forward, left wing. So you can change your formation to get more forwards, but we'll just keep it like this. I think this is fine. While balanced, it will do the job. But Gonzalo Ramos and Ricardo, in my opinion, make sure you guys start them, boys, because they are your literal only forwards from Liga Portugal, and you need to assist with them. Uh, as for 
finesse goals as well. You need to get finesse goals from players with Liga Portugal. So as I said, if you are going to substitute some players out, make it be your defenders, which does lead me into tip number one, and that is going to be the bench. Let's say you've already got maybe the perfect amount of assists. Let's say you've got enough assists with your Liga Portugal forwards. What you can do is you can chuck a pause, go on over to your bench and sub on your best players. You can literally put on, right, any players you want on the bench from your main team, sub them on, because, I mean, it, it does not matter, right? We've already got enough players in the starting 11. You can put your best players on the bench and use them that way. Now, remember, lots of people don't know this this year. You can make up to five substitutions, because obviously in real life, I've made it five subs, and FIFA have followed. So you can use five substitutions. Let's say I'm 2-0 up at halftime or 3-0 up at halftime in the squad battles game. I've got some assists with one of my Liga Portugal strikers. Or maybe I want to keep one of them on the pitch. Then I could go ahead and I could sub on my Neymar Jr. over Gonzalo Ramos. I could then go ahead and sub on my Valverde, maybe over João Mario. If you want to get some defender subs on the bench as well, that would be very, very good and respectable because you just want to kind of balance it out correctly. So make sure to make use of those five substitutes this year. Tip number two is going to be chemistry styles. Now, if you guys do not know how chemistry styles work, we do we are going to have a video, pre-recorded video of how chem styles do work um, but just before you get into that pre-recorded video all of these players on this team are on free out of free chemistry which I mean is a benefit of having a full league of Portugal team for, for the sake of a squad builder which means you can get chemistry boosts the maximum chemistry boost for everyone. So make sure to pay attention to this video. Chemistry styles, in my opinion, are so important, especially for the lower rated players because it can make them perform a lot better in game. For example, this card right here, he is on zero out of three chemistry points, which means I probably wouldn't worry about putting a chemistry style on him because as you can see, he gets absolutely no boost whatsoever. Now, Ryan Kent, on the other hand, is on one out of three chemistry points, which I still think is not so much worth putting a chemistry style because he only gets plus ones on the board and I think that's just a little bit of a waste. As for players that are two out of three chemistry points or more though, I do think that is where you're going to want to start getting some chemistry souls on them. For example, Ben Yedda is on two out of three and he's starting to get some plus twos throughout the board. Therefore, I think all of your players that are at least two out of three chem points, it's worth getting a chemistry style on them. You can do so by going to apply consumable and going over to your chemistry style tab. There you will see all of the chemistry styles in your club. You've got attacking, midfielders, defending one as well. I would avoid using hunters though because you don't really want to use that. It's a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit excessive for objectives. Now, this is a prime example of chemistry styles. Player of the month, Valverde, who is on three out of three chemistry points, so the maximum points. As you can see, he's got an engine applied. With this engine attributes boost, he goes to 94 pace in game, roughly 89 or 90 passing. He gets a nice dribbling boost as well. So it just goes to show, give the chemistry styles on your players. I think all of your players that are on at least two chemistry points and it will benefit them in game. So now that you've sussed that, we're going to head into the third, final and most important tip. And that is going to be the squad battles tip. Now, lots of you will know, lots of you should know, I say should, lots of people don't actually know this, you know, but basically you get four teams that you can play in squad battles every single day, right? That's what people think. It is not every single day. I'll circle it on the screen. Now, as you can see, it does say update opponents by pressing square. It is X if you are on Xbox and you can do this every 15 minutes. All right, so if I was to do this, I'm not going to worry about squad battles, so I will for the sake of it, uh, for, for the sake of a video, just for you guys. But as you can see, we've got an 85 rated squad, an 84 rated squad. We don't really want to play those games on semi pro. As for a 79 rated squad, only five chemistry. I would definitely be able to beat this on semi pro. Uh, if you guys can do the same, then that's perfect. So you'd go ahead, select the required difficulty, and go from there. Now, after you've played that game, right, you will have the option, you can use your refresh. So you'll refresh it and you'll get a whole other four teams. Now, this is a gold mine. We've got a 74 rated of 17 chem and also a 77. So we got two really poor teams. It's basically just a matter of avoiding the higher rated and higher chemistry teams, playing the poor ones. And then by the time you're, you're done that game, you can refresh. As you can see, the refresh option is no longer there, but usually it's like a 10 to 15 minute cooldown. So it, like, it works perfectly. As soon as you get into a game, which is 10 or 15 minutes, by the time you're out, you'll have the option to refresh again. So it's literally just a matter 
of playing the worst team in every single selection, refreshing it, and so on, so forth. I don't know why this is glitched and it's not really, uh, it's not showing us the team. It's an invisible team that we're playing. But if I remove my webcam, it, it like kind of displays all of the players and I'm going over it. So I, I don't know. It's just classic EA, isn't it? But it looks like a very poor team and we would definitely be able to beat this one on Semi Pro. By the time we're out of that, we can refresh it again. As well, if you do go over your 40 game limit, do not worry, it will still count towards your objectives, it just means you will no longer get points for completing a game towards your overall squad battles rank for that week. But once again, it will still count towards your objectives. So boys, hopefully this video did help you out, and as for the overview, assist 10 goals using forwards, you've got two forwards in the 4-4-2 formation, which is going to be your two strikers, Gonzalo Ramos and Ricardo Horta, so you need to assist 10 goals with them, but not on separate matches, so if you can get those 10 assists, straight away and then you can start subbing in your main players then that would be perfect score seven goals with finesse shots using players from Liga Portugal finesse shot there was an example earlier but it is right bumper plus shoot r1 plus shoot if you're playstation play 20 matches in squad battles on at least semi pro or rivals with at least seven players from Liga Portugal we've got a full 11 once again you can bring in four players if you wish but make sure not to do that straight away because then if you sub off your strikers for example then or, or you like take your strikers out for your main strikers and your main team then you won't be able to get the assist 10 goals using forwards so maybe get them first and then you could look at bringing in your strikers or if you do this make sure you just do it with your center backs so you're not sacrificing your only forwards that you need to assist with then win eight matches matches by at least two goals in squad battles um the tip for this one i mean this is just self-explanatory you need to win it by two or more goals okay not more than two not two on the dot it is two or more so you need to win two nil three one four two etc at least right you could win ten nil you'll get that done sorted i feel like lots of people will just be grinding it for eight games for wilson manafa compared to the full 20 games for the nuno santos but let me know what you guys think down below it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out lads